We have some breaking news to report now from the U.S. Supreme Court. The high court has just agreed, just now, to take up the issue of whether Trump has immunity on charges that he interfered with the 2020 election. They are scheduled to hear this case, moving forward now with oral arguments in just two months. The date they have set is April 22nd. Uh, first, I want to bring in News Nation's Washington Bureau Chief Mike Vicara now. Mike, uh, we had been waiting for whether or not they would accept this case. Uh, the, the appellate decision decision denying him immunity was seen as being very, very well crafted and well written. What can you tell us? Well, it's clear that this is a, a victory of sorts for the special prosecutor, Jack Smith, because he wanted this to go directly to the Supreme Court to have them decide as quickly as possible on this question of presidential immunity. You recall uh, that the president's lawyers uh, put before the D.C. appeals court one level below the Supreme Court. Uh, whether or not a president could be prosecuted or uh, for actions that were taken in office. Uh, that uh, three-judge uh, ju justice appeals court said no, absolutely not. Uh, the president, the former president and his lawyers uh, wanted the appeals process to move through the appeals court before it got to the Supreme Court. And what happened was the special prosecutor said, we want this to be decided much more quickly. Uh, we want you, the Supreme Court, to take it up mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and decide so we can move this to trial as quickly as possible. And the Supreme Court today has effectively agreed to do that. As you mentioned, a hearing before the justices of the Supreme Court will happen on April the 22nd. The president, again, wanted to move this more slowly through the appeals process. That is evidently not going to happen now. And have we heard any reaction from former President Trump on that? We are waiting for that. We expect to, to hear a reaction from the former president. We have not as of yet, Elizabeth. All right, get back to us, Mike. If you Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.